This is episode two of the Homemaking for Dummies series. If this is the first video you clicked on, I will link the first episode of this series above. I will also make a link list down below in the description as well. And before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to Scrunchmore. They are on Instagram and they have the cutest little scrunchies. I have this little sparkly one in my hair today. It's just pretty and sparkly. I wanted to show you the other ones I got. I got this yellow one, and then I got this adorable, I love this one, this one's my favorite, sprinkles one, it looks like little sprinkles, and I think it'll look so cute when I put my hair in a donut bun and I put my sprinkles around my donut bun. I also got this headband that wraps around your head and you tie it in a bow, and it's got some elastic back here, so it's comfortable and stretchy and I just love it. It's just such a pretty, pretty item. So, so I will link the Instagram down below so you can go and check that out. Go and get yourself a scrunchie or two or 10. Let's get into the video before I keep talking about my hair scrunchies and hair accessories. So to kick it off, the first tip I have for you is that background noise makes things go by so much faster. I, nine times out of 10, have something playing in the background when I am cleaning my house and getting my things done. Either it's music or podcasts or a YouTube video. This helps to distract me, especially in those times where I don't want to clean anything. I just want to sit down and be lazy. I can't stop thinking about how much I don't want to do something. Instead of filling my mind with, oh, I just don't want to do this today. I'm just so, oh gosh, this is going to take forever. These dishes are so gross that I have to scrub these off and I have to do this and I have to do that and this and that and then instead of doing that put something on in the background and your mind will be distracted and you won't be thinking about that sink full of dishes that you're washing instead you'll be listening to your podcast or your music so so I'm not judging you if you want to wear your pajamas every single day while you're cleaning the house, but that's just not me because if I do that, I'm gonna end up in my pajamas all day long until nightfall and then I'm just not gonna feel good. And so what I do to avoid that is I plan out my outfits for the entire week. I'll check my weather app beforehand, obviously, and I will dress according to the weather. It will change if the weather changes, but I like to do that because it helps me to avoid that stereotypical homemaker look of wearing pajamas or just being lazy with my appearance. Because I treat my homemaking job like a job. I like to look. One moment, my oven is beeping. Because I treat my homemaking job just like any other job, I like to take pride in my appearance and I just like to look presentable for running errands or for somebody unexpected coming over or last minute. And of course, for my husband to come home. I love looking presentable for him. I love looking nice for him. I don't like just dressing up when we're going out because I want him to know that I'm dressing up for him and I'm looking nice for him. Plan your outfits out for the week and wear something that you don't normally wear. Pull out those nice sweaters, pull out those nice slacks, put them on. Look presentable, treat your job just like any other job. Put your best face forward. Next tip I have is to make sure you are getting outside every single day for at least 30 minutes or opening up windows. Fresh air is so important, especially if you are a homemaker. You don't want to start resenting your homemaking job when you are cooped up in the house all day. So make sure you're getting out of the house. Make sure you're getting out to get fresh air if you have nowhere to go. Open up the windows if you don't feel like going outside. Just breathe in some fresh air. It is not healthy for us to sit in the same space, breathing in the same stagnant air. When I worked in my office job, I would feel like I was going nuts if I didn't get outside and breathe fresh air every single day. If I didn't get out to walk around the building a few times, I felt like I was going nuts. So. Again, homemaking is no different. And so you should get outside, breathe in that fresh air, change up your scenery for a minute, even if it is going out on your porch or in your own backyard. The next tip I have for you is to learn 
the art of ironing. Ironing is a dying art and it is being replaced by these fancy steamers, but I encourage you to just buy an iron and iron things instead. If you go to a hotel and you forget to pack your precious steamer, they more than likely only have an iron and an ironing board for you to use. And if you have to go somewhere nice and your clothes are all wrinkly and you need to iron something but you don't know how, you're probably going to run into an issue or two. Maybe burn your clothes, maybe just leave the hotel and have wrinkly clothes. So you really want to learn how to iron. You don't have to buy those obnoxious ironing boards that flip down from your door and they take up a ton of space. They now make them collapsible and small countertop iron ironing boards. So buy an iron, they are super cheap. I will link one down below. I will link the ironing board down below as well. But learn how to iron. There are tons of videos on YouTube. The next tip is to learn how to wake up early and love it. Wake up earlier than everybody else. So if everybody else starts waking up around 7 o'clock, try waking up at 6 o'clock or even 6.30. Just give yourself some time in the morning where the house is quiet and nobody else is awake and you have that time to yourself. I have a, a good old fashioned alarm clock to wake me up in the morning and now I'm not saying you have to get up out of bed every morning and go, yes, it's 5 a.m. I get to wake up early. I'm so excited that I'm up. No, no, I'm not saying that you have to wake up and be like ready to go but just force yourself to get up in the morning and learn to enjoy it. You're not gonna enjoy it the first 15 minutes of waking up, but when you get into the habit of it, you're just going to, your body's going to get more adapted to it. The next tip I have is to use a calendar or a planner so that you are not missing any bills or parties or get togethers or holidays or birthdays, any type of date or Thing that requires your attention cannot be forgotten if you're writing it down on a calendar that you're walking past every single day. I personally don't use my phone enough to remember to use my calendar app. I think it's annoying and I'm pretty old-fashioned so I like to have my wall calendar and I will write down my important things on my calendar. So if a bill is due on a certain date, I will write the amount on the calendar and then I will write what bill it is. If a birthday is coming up for a family member or a friend, I'll write that on there. And then appointments too. You don't want to be that homemaker that's so busy and running around like crazy and you forget something because you never wrote it down on your calendar or in your planner. Get yourself a wall calendar next time you go to Target or Walmart. Put it on your wall and use it. It really makes everything seem less overwhelming when you are planning for it instead of, oh no, the bill collector called me and we're late now because I forgot the bill was due last Friday. You know? <laughs> That concludes the video for today. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I am off to go and make some more cookies. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.